Okay. Let's see how this goes. I noticed the volume got a little bit better last night. And I'm hoping that, let's see, we got good volume today. So, oh, you're so welcome, Bobby. Okay, again, I need to do a sound check. How does things sound? I've got my microphone here. Hopefully, my background noise canceled. There's no echoing. And I actually have my husband up monitoring on his computer. So, let's see how it sounds. And I'm hoping the dogs will behave themselves. So far, so good. Oh, okay. Let's hope it stays that way. Last night, we created our regular sized uh, tissue box. Today, we're going to do a rectangle. Now, the rectangle is different. Okay, temporary. I did temporary last night make sure because you have to resize things and I want to go over really quick to make one thing clear this tissue box will fit a and I don't have one here but I did pull up on the puffs just your smaller box mm -hmm. so if you have one of the big thick boxes of tissues it should be the same size you're just going to have to adjust the sides and that is super easy to do so if your tissue box is like four inches high, here, let me put you on mute for just a moment. Okay, back to our tissue box. So if you've got a four inch tissue box, you're just going to make your sides four inches. So the best thing to do is to make tissue box. This is for one of the smaller and you'll see it's three and an eighth inches. But um, again, you can just measure your box. Okay, so this morning, everything, the phone's going to go crazy. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Let's get started with our measurements. I did put the measurements in the box, so I'm gonna let you take a minute and get those cut if you need to. Okay, yeah. let's get started. Um, the K, whatever happened to the K cup, cup box? Well, the K cup box is on the list. I've been on. I went on a vacation. My cam, my computer for ten days was in the shop, and that is on the list on the remakes. Because what happened when I was doing live shows for Authentic Paper Company? They have since deleted their whole Facebook, which had my videos in there. And I have no access to them. And at that time, I was not using a streaming program. So I was not, I did not save them. I never thought this would happen. <laughs> so we are um, doing remakes for the fall. And I've started with the tissue boxes. A cup is on the list. Again, with your tissue boxes. So if you have a four inch tissue box, you're going to cut these, whatever, measure the height, the height of your tissue box. Okay. 
And otherwise, it should be the same measurements. I didn't have a tissue box here to measure with. So we're going to get started with, these are going to be comps. As you can see, it's different than the tall square box. So you need two pieces of cardstock. And I'm using the heavy 100-pound lunch uh, sack cardstock. And these two are five and a half long, and they are three and one eighth. So these four pieces are three and one eighth long. You need two that are three and one eighth wide. You need two that are five and a half and two that are nine and a half. Okay, cool. Looks like our sound might be okay. And so you want those pieces. Now I mentioned that in the cutting guide, the one piece that you do need it's going to be 11 inches long and it is seven inches wide. That becomes our top. We are going to cut a hole in this with our dies again. Now, your box will be open on the bottom. If you don't like your box open, and I don't, I'm, I've created a bottom so that our box will sit in the bottom. Now, the nice thing, too, about these sides is you if you made the other box last night you have plenty of scraps when you cut your pieces so you can just use those except you will need two more sheets if you're going to make a top and a bottom and for the bottom it is seven and one eight by eleven and one eight so it's a little bit different and it's kind of like what I showed you before you have some interchangeable lids on this box just like we did on the other and I'll go through those again and then I'm going to use the doodle bug here again um cardstock so I thought how cute and I am in the process I got to get back to making the album with you and it will be such a cute matching gift for somebody with a new home hey let's start with our three and one eighth of an inch pieces we are going to support one of these just on the left hand side at one half inch. So five and a half across the top, a half inch, and then nine and a half across the top. Hi, Pamela, at one inch. So that's all done. Now, I Oh, I already cut these. What will I think? Well, it's okay. You guys knew last night. Uh, this is the same. I shouldn't have cut them. I just, I did. <laughs> but that's okay. This one is your 11 inch by seven. So it's seven high, 11 long. And we're going to score one inch on all four sides. And then we cut the corners out. Just like last night, a miter. And just like when you when I cover an album, same thing. So one inch on all four sides. And then uh, if you are making a bottom, same thing. This is 11 and one eighth by seven and one eighth. And we want to score one inch on all four sides. And for this one, we only we want to leave the tabs. This is going to be the bottom of my box if you want a bottom. Okay, that's where I made the notes because it does take extra cardstock, extra paper, extra everything. My husband said my video is now starting to cut out. Voice. My voice. Is that cutting is it cutting out for you guys? Well, let's hope not. Okay, once we have everything scored, it is Buffy, it is going in and out again. Just a little bit. Well, we do have a sound person that's going to be coming to the house because this has got to stop in my studio. Okay, if you cannot understand me, let me know. We can't figure this out for the life of us. So we've done the scoring. The one half inch on our ends, and we want to burnish those. Well, 
we don't know why it's cutting out. Hopefully, that was when I had to take that phone call. It's actually a, a sound company. They're going to be coming to my studio. And we are hopefully going to get this all figured out. Because we have a lot of projects to do. And let's try something in the audio. Okay, I'm trying a different speaker. I um, let me know how that sounds. And Rick, if you can hear this, I did switch to the camera audio. And if you guys can give me some feedback, let me know how the sound is now. That helps me so much. Okay, we have two short pieces. We have two long pieces. And let me see if I can get, it's louder. Is it clearer though, Bobby? The whole thing is louder. It's good. <laughs> as long as you can understand what I'm saying. That okay, video is great. Now, the important thing to remember is we are going well, we need to miter these corners, but we're going to attach a long one to a short one, a long one to a short one, and we want to go ahead and miter the corners. Okay. It's clear to me. Good. Sounds great. Thank you, Gracie. The tissue boxes make a really cute gift. It's something that, that is just a cute little thoughtful gift or for you to have around your house. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to decorate this one with you though, like we did last night. Um, because you guys get the jits. Sound is better. That would be my husband. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take my first one. I'm going to start with the long one. And we're going to add our adhesive. Then I want you to grab a short one. We're going to attach to the unhinged side. Hello, Patty. And we want to line that up there. You know, it's been raining here the last two days, and I'm so happy, actually. It's a summer rain, so it's not cold. But it feels like fall, but it's not. Everybody forgets in Utah. We cool off for a little bit and then we get hot again in September because it's just the way Utah is. Okay, we're going to fold up that score line. So we have a long short. The next one will be long. And we want to connect the long this inch here. Okay. And we add my adhesive. And I like to use glue. It's more permanent, especially with this heavy. Heavy cardstock. And line that up. Really good. What's wrong? I will I am currently remaking. Oh, that is an oldie but a goodie for sure. No, I came off of that mic because it was cutting out. Sorry, we're also working on the sound. Oh, so we've got long, short, long, short. Sorry about all the background noise. And talking, but we're trying, we can only get it. 
fits with the theme line. <laughs> Great theme. Um, oh, yeah. It's been hot up there for you guys, too. And the terrible, terrible fires. So now you can see how this is going to wrap around your tissue box. I do not, like I said, have a tissue box. I really should go get one with grandkids and dogs. I don't usually keep the tissue boxes for long because they get, you know how kids and dogs are. So that now will create what's going to go over your rectangle tissue box. And you can adjust the size. Put your tissue box in there and see if you need to make it longer. If you do, just add an eighth of an inch and also higher. I need to come up higher. Very easy for you to adjust. Then you'll score at half of an inch, but then just adjust it as you need to fit your box. And uh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Connie. And once again, but I hate to do videos if my equipment's not working correctly. Okay. This will be our last connection. And I do want to map this before we connect our box. So three and an eighth inches high and nine inches long. So I want to cut um, for my matting two that are three inches high by four and seven eight and then these will be three inches uh three inches by eight and seven eighths and three inches by four and seven eighths and i did cut these and this is the doodle bug home again so cute and this one's three inches by eight and seven eighths I'm not double matting this one. If I was giving it as a gift, I probably would. And really, separate it up. this one will just here with me. Rain dance might help. I don't know. We're sure getting the rain in Utah, but it's good. It's okay. We'll take it. And that looks good with the crack. So I'm going to use the black on the sides. Remember, wet glue, you need to spread it. Just looking at it, I guess that is directional. The butterflies point up. Again, it's really fun to make. Oh, here comes the holy terrors. As long as they don't bark, we're fine. You guys must think I live a crazy life. I do. Get three beagles. Hey, you too. It's raining, so they come down here to play. There's a lot of room in the studio.
Well, Patty, I'm going to send them to you. You can watch them for the next couple of years. I'll keep Wilbur. You can have the 200 guys. Right? <laughs> now, I would miss them. Yes, but oh, lately, those two. Okay, that's the outside. That's our box. That will slide right over your tissue box. Now we need to make a lid or a cover like we did last night. That is where we scored one inch all the way around on our 11 by 7 inch piece. <clears throat> Cut out your corners and also miter them because remember from our square box, this is going to fit inside, inside. Right now it's going to fall. So I'm going to actually, we're going to do it upside down. So there's no way for me to make those diagonal, you know, so we could close it. And that's where we did it this way. So that will be the top. And we're going to mat it first. So the matting for the inside is going to be eight and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. I was going to use this, but I thought, how cute is that border strip there? Now, just like last night, we're going to need our dies because we have to have a hole and you can use any die. It can be square. It can be rectangle. I'm using the eyelet oval basics again from Heartfelt Creations. And I wish I had a box. Now, I know the opening is larger. Uh, I wanted to use the scalp, but I do think that that's just going to be too big. Too, too big. So I'll use the next one. And it is bigger than what we used last night. Last night we used the third one. So this one will go. You want the bigger one on your cardstock, your pattern. The smaller one then we'll put and do on the box. Okay. But we need to do on this one, we need to find our center. Use a little bit of my repositional. Lay it down where I want it to be matted. Finding our center. So we know the inside is nine inches and this is five inches. So with the ruler and the pencil, I'm not, the matting's an eighth of an inch shorter, but I'm using just the nine I'll find the four and a half but we only need it two and a half inches down from the top or pretty close so that's my center and I can actually make it bigger because we're going to cut it out that will probably be cut out also. So once again, I'm gonna lay my die down, putting the blade down because that's how it's going to go on my new cutter. I love the Gemini too. That's all I can say, it's wonderful. Hi, Cindy. I'm gonna send her the die there. Grab my washi tape. Put it to the inside. Okay, off to my machine I go.
And again, I'm loving this. Look at that, no warping. And you can either glue it down or, but I don't want to put this through the machine. I've had it in it months before. But there's so much pressure. So I'm just going to lay it down with some temporary tape again. Place my die. And then move your die and have to do it again. <laughs> so I'm going to tape it while it's there. You don't want this to be off. Otherwise, you can't once it's cut. Be right back. Forgot I had the temporary glue on my half, I mean my inches, and so it wanted to stick. All right, let's, let's put this back now. Inside. I think, oh, there it is. I was missing one. Okay, now we can put down. Wash the tape off our cover. Again, making sure it's going the right direction. You'll know how that doesn't feel as nice. This is this is such a happy paper, Cindy. I know. Okay, get some glue in there. Okay. 
just making sure it's down. Anytime you put your paper through a dye machine like that, it gets smushed. Not smushed. There's just some compression. There. Yeah, wrinkled around the edges. Okay, now we can go ahead and really burnish our one inch hinge because this is going to attach our box. Um, I like washi tape for going in the dye machine because that's what I got. I don't have a low, I don't know the low tack tape. I don't have any, so I can't say whether I like, I mean, I have the, I use the repositional dots, but I don't, I've never had it work on my dots. So once again, I'm just going to attach that front first. Then for this one, I'm going to turn it upside down. You'll see in a second. Or you can, whatever is easiest for you to manipulate this and get it to work. right now see I can lay it flat just tuck everything in now I'm going to turn it upside down because now I can push my top down and like the smaller one, we couldn't. I'm just going to bring my flap back, add my adhesive now to the other three sides. But I want to push this down as I'm pushing back. Okay. Then we'll go back and be able to fix from the other side. For instance, see that gap? Get some glue right along the top. I like that, Cindy. We could, we should call these. Okay, now anywhere that you feel it's not down, just take the time to make sure it is blue. I mean, that's an OCD thing with me. I don't like gaps. I like everything flush. Now, again, you can make this 
like I showed last night, flatten it and not add your top till you're ready to give it as a gift. And they're easier to store that way, like we did the other box last night. Okay, this is good just like that. Now, all you'll do is put it over the top, lift it off when you want to replace it. You can map the inside, but let's take it a step further. Last night, I did show if you wanted to have a different type of lid that will come off. So it almost looks like a shoe box, doesn't it? But we're going to make this for the bottom. And this is where I wanted to, where I said in the instructions that you, um, wait make sure you want it it's just for you at home you might just want this to go over the top of your box if you're giving it as a gift you might want the bottom because it just gives it also that more finished look and that was our 11 and an eighth by seven and one eighth and we scored it one inch all the way around and just cut straight up and miter outside tabs but this time do not cut your tabs off and then we want to map. I do map the bottom and the inside, and that's also where you know had excuse me, you wait because it does take an extra sheet of paper. So I ended up using a full sheet of this one from Doodlebug, the black and the black floral. So it's like you know what? I only use two full sheets, two full sheets and a part of one. So it was two full sheets and a quarter of this one. So it doesn't really take a lot, but if you don't want to use a lot, then just stop here. And that way it only takes two 12 by 12 sheets. <laughs> yeah, now that, here's the other thing. This can go over the top if you have a kitty who wants to play in the tissue boxes or a puppy, jump up on the counter and get them. So. The matting for this is now going to be nine by five. So easy, two nine by five, inside and outside. Then we're going to mat, of course, the outside. We want it to be pretty. And I did seven eighths by nine, and you're gonna want four seven eighths by nine. And you're going to want seven eighths by five. And you want four of those. And I'm going to go ahead. This is the bottom. I'm doing the bottom right this moment. And the reason to do the bottom is if you do want to use it for a lid to cover the tissues themselves. And let's do the inside piece. Again, same size, five by nine. Now I can do the back side. If it's directional, make sure these are going to come up. You want to make sure that your directional is the right direction. Then when we do the inside, we can do these long pieces, but we have to wait. This is where it's going to attach. Now, if you made your tabs the opposite line and you cut here, make sure the piece that your tab attaches to, you don't map that until after it's put together. So I'm going to put black on the outside all the way around then I'll do two and two on the inside oops that's the wrong one that's pretty cute Let's see what this side looks like oh I know I cut the heart off it that does look cute doesn't it then look at the house Doodlebug cute. What can we say? 
This will go this way so it's the right direction. Right. Nope. Because it was kind of cute here. It's always fun to see the other side of the paper. No. Okay. Houses and home sweet home. Shoot. Whoops. Don't bother over. I'm warning those dogs ahead of time. Always, always make sure you go over it with a flat spatula or bone folder because glue. If you don't, it's going to look baby and you're going to be eight and gold. Like wallpaper. Really no different. See, that one's pretty cute, but the other one doesn't. Have some flats. Oh, that'll be cute. Super cute. Even that. Now, the inside, again, I can do the long pieces. We'll do the short after our, our bottom is put together. All right, we gotta get that sticky off. Okay, hey, now we can put the box together after we re we have to reburnish all our fold lines. Don't it won't be square. So just go over and Depending on the weight of your cardstock, where this is a oh, this is hundred pound. I have to be tough. Now I can glue my edges together. Or my tab I can now go down. Again, making sure they match. Just pull them up if you need to. Okay. 
Yes, the doodle bug home again is just adorable. It's so happy. So this will definitely be like a or somebody's home if you're giving it as a gift or your office. How cute to take that to work. Or your scrap store. <laughs> you have your tissue in there. Okay. Dry for a second. And we'll burnish it. Now I can go ahead and add my pattern cardstock. And don't forget, Doodlebug Halloween and Christmas are on the website right now for pre-order. You can have the whole package. So you're going to want to grab the Halloween. It's going to ship first. Christmas will ship next month. But you don't want to miss out because it's so happy. And it'll make such cute gifts. Now, this has a lot of different uses, actually. It could not be just you're giving this to someone who's down in the weather or cold or when they take it off the box, it can just be a holding tray for different things. So that's the bottom again. You put your tissue, put that on there, and that way it's on the bottom. If you want it to look completely finished. And then if you need to cover your tissue because you have a kitty named Sammy, the only thing is that will be upside down, then you can put it on there. And it'll keep your tissue clean, um, out of reach of the cat, the puppy. Like I said, that's upside down. That would be your only issue, but not a problem. And that is the tissue box for your rectangle. Last night we did the tall one. And again, when you get your tissue box, just measure your height and adjust the height. These are three and one eighth inches. You may need it smaller depending on the size of the box you get. And that is our tissue box we make. So I'm so happy we got those done. And I'm so happy we got through the video with two mini major disasters. <laughs> I think we've got the picture where it's not lagging like it was during Santa's um, Letters to Santa tutorial. And our next one, I will remake the K-Cups, K-Cup holder that I did so that you guys also will have that for a fun gift. And you put it all in a basket and give it, as a, yeah, give it as a really nice gift. Okay. Wow, we did that in an hour, even with some of our struggles. Uh, again, you can double mat and then you can decorate. We have some flowers, like we did last night, some ribbon, a lot of cute doodle bug embellishments that come with the collection. You know what? You can even put. Do you want to have a doodle pop in here? I might have a doodle pop. Let's see. Because that would be. And I don't have a doodle box for this person here with me. But I have I have a fire hydrant from the puppy one. <laughs> so you can put a doodle pop on there. Of course, you wouldn't want the fire hydrant with the doggy poop. This is for the dog one. Um, how cute would that be? The flowers, we're all set for a guest. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next tutorial.